Hey, so we're at Open Sauce, and I'm next to this stallion of a human with a big machine behind us. <laughs> Andrew, how you doing? I'm doing great. How are you, Joel? I'm great. Well, now, you're wonderful, but this machine, tell me about this. Okay, well, behind me is the newest member of the Gloop team. Uh, this is Jeff. Jeff is our... Uh, wait, 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 wait. J-E-P-H-F. -F. Yes, Jeff. Uh, okay, what does that stand for? Just enough physical force. <laughs> Just enough. This is a big robotic arm. Mm -hmm. I doubt that it gives just enough. Oh, it gives way more. <laughs> so Jeff is an industrial robot arm. It's uh, made by Fanuc. Uh, these are the type of arms used to build cars. Uh, you know, in those you know factories, production lines, that sort of stuff. When specifically was a welding robot. Now he serves as a uh, the newest member of our team to test and evaluate our Gloop products. So we're doing this now to demonstrate the strength of gloop and what you could do with 3D printed parts that are glooped together. With this, we're going to test how strong those bonds are. We're going to pit Jeff here at Open Sauce against a team of humans in a game of tug of war. And we're going to see who can win. Let's go back here and talk about this sure. because a robotic arm that's welding generally mm -hmm. isn't outfitted to have a tug of war with humans. So let's yeah. talk about how you're accomplishing that feat. Sure, yeah, let's go show you. We have an end effector that was actually designed by Stefan from CNC Kitchen. Oh, good. Hey, that's a great guy to get to design that. Oh, yes, absolutely. So it, what we have is this uh, end effector, and it's uh, printed out of multiple pieces and then glooped together. Of course. And that will then connect to a load cell that will be able to hopefully read out the data from and see how you know much force is being applied. Well, it's down there. Pick that up. Yeah. So we have another uh, another shackle here as well that's also glooped together. So there's multiple points of failure for gloop, but we're, we're, we're confident in how strong it is. <laughs> we're not testing whether the robot can win. We're really testing the bonds that 3D Gloop makes in these parts, that's, right? That's correct, yeah. So we're just really showing how strong, ludicrously strong, our glue is for those 3D printed plastic parts. You've got some extra parts here, so there is safety involved here, yeah. right? Yeah, so, you know, as part of coming to an event and with people involved in giant industrial machines, there's a lot of insurance and, you know, some rubber stamping that has to happen. And so so that actually takes us to the next piece, the whole, you know, what you could use Gloop for, and that is building really cool 3D models. Of course, I've done that. Yeah, so what we have actually over oh, here, come on, come on. we have an assortment of helmets that we actually made uh, for this specific event. Again, insurance kind of requires all of the participants to wear helmets just in case they were to fall backwards or something. They don't hit their heads. And we saw this as an opportunity to loop in a bunch of other content creators and make some really awesome 3D printed helmets helmets that were either printed in multiple pieces or different colors and glooped together. This is a standard bicycle helmet that uh, that we've basically fitted inside a 3D printed shell and made for sure that it still holds its impact ratings and resistance and all that fun stuff. So wait, just a standard bicycle helmet mm -hmm. and it looks like it had some expanding foam around it mm -hmm. keeping it in place. Yep. And then the 3D print. Oh, okay. So the safety is still there. Mm -hmm. It's just prettier. It's just prettier. We have some, uh, a couple of Mandalorian helmets. Like one of my favorites is this, uh, you know, upside down pot. You know, you can put it on. It's, it's actually a lot of fun. <laughs> you look smashing. We have a dark helmet over here. We have Magneto, uh, the minifig helmet from Lego. Uh, producer David actually put that on. It yeah. It pretty stellar. Oh yeah, smashing, right? <laughs> and then uh, we got a Master Chief. Yeah. So I believe um, we had uh, Patrick, uh, Patrick W3D Prince, I believe, uh, and Loyal Moses was actually uh, right. a lot of the ones that uh, helped here. And then, uh, you know, Alan from Repcord, uh, Repcord was also, yeah, was also here helping out making these, uh, these helmets. It. So cool. so many people got involved in mm -hmm. this. Yeah, it was it was a really fun project, and I'm super excited to see how the tug of war event actually goes. Who thinks the humans are gonna win? Cheers. Now cheer for the humans. Who thinks that Jeff is gonna win? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. I am the danger. This is intense, guys. Oh! That's a win, Jeff, ladies and gentlemen. And the power of three, Luke. The robots uh, seem to be winning here. Alan performing. Uh, this is actually working. Oh, 
Robot is smack talking. Oh! <laughs> the gloop held and the robot won. Did we win? Alan, Alan, how'd you do? How'd you do? I think we did fantastic. God bless America. I think the Vietnam War is wrong, and I think that we should all be able to vote however we want. And also, did I mention God bless America? You didn't yet. God bless America. Evan, what happened there? Evan. Uh, I don't know. I think just like I saw Alan drinking a lot last night, and I think that I think that had a big part to play. Uh, but maybe next time we'll get him next season. I think. Yeah, yeah. What afraid. happened, man? I don't know. I thought we had four of us in, but we we're only allowed to do three. I I, I think they're nervous. Yeah. I'm just saying. They, they kicked the the strongest yeah. one out. The strongest. That, that one. was yeah, the strongest the one. Oh, oh. Yeah. I'm saying. I apologize. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. How do you think you're gonna do? Uh, I need help. <laughs> He does, he <laughs> I need assistance. So is this is this the helmet that provides the power, though? Uh, it will provide some power. What do you bring to the table here, Robbie? Um, I make crafts, and I'm a strong guy, and I wear a striped shirt, and uh, that's kind of that's kind of me in a nutshell. Striped shirt is the key. Yeah, it's under it's under this shirt. I didn't want to confuse you guys. I appreciate that. Is Take a helmet and on? get in here. Yeah, it is. Oh, <laughs> I got it. All right, Stefan, what's your secret? Pull. That's a great, great <laughs> technique. Great technique. So Stefan has 3D printed shoes, and Stefan's 3D printed shoes may be the key to everything here. So we'll see if this actually aids Stefan in his battle against the eventual robot overlords. We're looking at a great lineup here, Joel. Uh, I don't really know how it's going to go. The robot's been crushing it this whole time, but who knows? Maybe it's running under juice. Well, normally I would pick the robot to win because it can throw an engine block around, but you never know this combination of humans and with, helmets. With today's gen crazy genetic engineering and the fact that people are on all types of just performance enhancers, you never know what anybody's bringing to the table now. I mean, Honestly, this guy right here could just be all legs, and you'll never know. You'll absolutely never know. They may have drank the special Red Bull, and we don't know. Oh, we already have a failed. That is a... That is a bad L Whoa. for 3D glue. And he's safe. He's safe. He's good. This is a crushing upset for 3D glue. So we don't know if it was the material that failed or the gloop itself. That's very true. Or is is his brute strength just so Maybe much? Maybe he did drink that special Red Bull. These are the performance enhancing drugs I was talking about. I this had is no idea. This is fantastic stuff, guys. Uh, well, okay, we're gonna well, see. I guess we're gonna see what happens. If I guess we are. He's he's. Yeah, that's that's why he's he's, he's giving the same one. The same the one. The same one. Can somebody test this kid for a performance enhancers? Wait, hey, hey, no, no, no. So yeah. now, are you on any sort of performance enhancing medication? It's just a striped shirt. It's it's just a striped shirt. It's just a striped shirt. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. This is amazing. I mean, striped shirts are striped shirts are key. I had no idea. Who made the filament, man? I know nothing. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what you made made the... Andrew, epic, epic <laughs> human versus robot battle. Thanks to 3D Gloop. Yep. How did the robot perform in your eyes? I mean, I think Jeff did a phenomenal job. I, I you know, he performed exactly as programmed. So Jeff, well. Exactly. Like precisely. The precisely. humans had no chance. Yeah, no. <laughs> there was some breakage. Was that 3D gloop? Was that material? What happened there? Uh, from the looks of it, it looks like it was the material failure. Okay. Um, not sure exactly how that broke, but you know, it it, it was uh it was an exciting tumble he well, took. Then, <laughs> hopefully then you learn from this and when it goes to Earth, mm -hmm. it's gonna be a little bit different, right? Oh yeah. So each time we're gonna learn, we're gonna make it better. Uh, you know, we're still getting, you know, used to Jeff. He's brand new to us. He's the newest member of our team. But uh, you know, we're we're hopeful that uh, this is gonna be really exciting moving forward each I time. I love this man. Yeah. This is so awesome. All right, look at the camera. Tell him <laughs> where to go to find out more about 3D Gloop. Well, you can go to 3 dgloopcom That's the best place. There you go. Yeah. All right. If you make this fire awesome, don't forget to hug each other more. Fight for a cause you believe in. Gloop all the things. <laughs> and as always, ready for this? Yeah. High five. High five. Nailed it.